Hello everyone. This video is going to show you how to set up our foot measure that you can find at acemarks.com slash size dash guide. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find the links on that page and you want to print out the, the PDF. Now when you're printing out the PDF, make sure to check your printer settings and you want to make sure they're set to actual size so that you, all, you get the correct proportions. Once you have page one and page two printed out, go ahead and line them up with page one on your left hand side and the page two on the right and go ahead and put them together along the, along the lines. Now it's important don't have any overlap over these or you won't get an accurate measurement. So line them up where the two sides are just touching. You can go ahead and use some tape to hold the two sides together so that when you're stepping on the device to measure your foot, you, will, you won't spread the papers apart. If you want to check to make sure that the, that the PDF is lined up correctly, you can go ahead and stick a credit card inside this measure. You're going to see that it's going to line up perfectly with the credit card. You can also use a dollar bill, but that has to be a United States dollar bill. So now that we see the credit card lined up correctly, this, device, this is ready to measure our foot. Once you have the printable foot measure laid out on the floor, go ahead and take something that you can use to brace your heel along the red line. In this instance, we're going to be using a clipboard. Now go ahead and take your foot and press it as far back as you can along the clipboard. Using your other hand, take a pen or a pencil and try to measure the very longest part of your foot. This is going to be the length of your foot. If you find yourself falling in between two different shoe sizes, just go ahead and take the longer one of the two. Now once you're finished with this process, you want to do the same thing with the left foot or the right foot depending on which foot you used first. If one foot happens to be longer than the other, take whichever foot measured the longest as your shoe size. You always want to make sure that both feet fit comfortably when inside a shoe. Once you have completed this process, you have now gauged your foot length and are ready to buy a shoe that will fit you perfectly.